Hello everybody and welcome back to Nixalon Extinction. Didn't do too much, but I did give everyone some cores, so that should be hopefully good for now. But it's time to continue on with the story as best I can. As I break into people's houses stealing their items. I was about to say, how the balls am I supposed to be up here, but, well, I got up here. Ooh! Just let me collect some shards. I don't know exactly what to do now. Uh, da da da. Was I supposed to go into that building there? Let me just do a quick look. I don't see anything shiny. Uh, da -da -da, oh well. Here, as long as you have shards, so do ya. That's... yes, I will take. That is worth it. Awesome. Uh, let's see. supposed to be here? I hope so. I don't remember where I was supposed to go. Never mind, kept scene. I'm in the right place. <gasps> long, long ago, the king of Mon monsters Omnicore himself tried to overthrow this world with the help of his children. Victory in our grasp. So weak, so feeble, the puny humans were at our mercy. Their fate was ours to toy with. And it is, it sure was fun as heck. Oh, how sweet indeed. The age of Nixamon has was about to begin. Along with Father, we would cleanse this world from the human disease at last. Truly, memories to be relished. But a traitor among the brethren. Mark something our de demise the only one with too soft a heart to take the one with too soft of a heart to take pity on the lonely mortals Yan forsake us and did the unforgivable that little girl doomed her, doomed her own kind. The absolute, the abs absent of the king drove the Nixmon of the world into madness, which ignited a war among tyrants for millennia to come. Only a true heir of Omnicore's bloodline can bring order to the to bring order and restore the natural balance of the planet. But our king was slain long ago. Omnicor no longer lives. And yet, Omnicor's bloodline lives on. The story goes on. 
we did not foresee this, but Deanne, the great traitor, had a child. She bore, bared a true heir to Omnicore's infinite power, and that heir is standing before me. Oh, the egg. Yes, indeed. Rio, you are. <laughs> Holy cow, okay. Um, plot twists. Um, <clears throat> I was not expecting that. Sweet, so, I'm technically a tyrant human. Wait. Oh, God. Uh, let me just think. So, she had to have... So, did she do the do with... The hero from the first game? Or another human that we have no clue? You are Omnicore's descendant. You are the future king of monsters. Our one tr and true ruler. So what's the egg for then? Just to harness my power? Are you sure about this? Hurry up, please. My very present might attract dragons to this place. Oh, that makes... That's why dragons attack me. That makes sense why I get attacked. This building. This is a human orphanage. Yang, you're leaving your own child, Omnicore's heir, in a place that reeks with humans? Rio will go grow with the humans. You will learn to accept them. The future king of monsters. The supreme Nixamon rotting in a place like this. I am a hybrid! Wow! <laughs> I did not know- Oh, I love that! And I am pretending to be one of them? Come on! You'll never- I'll never allow Ryo to grow vile, just like Omnicore. Our father hated humanity. We'll end with Ryo. <laughs> um, I, I have the blueprints to create destruction. I don't think I'm going down the right path, mother. And now I'm supposed to explain to Ryo about his supernatural powers when they grow up. I have no supernatural power. It's all the egg. Unless I harness the egg. The egg is me or something. The other children at the orphanage will surely be terrified. I'm pretty sure I terrified them with my power of spinning. And who else do we know who was spinning? Of course, the guy from the first game. So therefore, that's my father then. That only makes sense. Give him this. What? what the heck is this? A tyrant egg? A fake egg. It will lie. You will lie to him. Tell him this power. His powers are channeled from this object. Good gracious. You can't seriously think that your own son is dumb enough to. <laughs> the writers made me dumb. Still, there is one problem. When Ryo becomes of age, dragons will realize that he's a tyrant. They will hunt him down over and over again, and that's why I'm being attacked. I would like Ryo to join the guild to ensure his safety. Working with humans will make him be what father wouldn't understand. And then, one day, Ryo will be strong enough to claim Omnicore's throne. A new king of monsters, who loves both human and Nixmon, will rise. Ooh, what if the egg isn't fake, but someone switched it? I mean, it would make a good plan, right? You want me... You want me to what? It is essential for Ryo to believe... 
He's human, Fenrir. You want to... You want us to protect what we... That we are powering up a fake tyrant egg? That's an idiotic plan. You're my uncle in this game! I love that! I love that! All my uncle, all my uncles and relatives are dead. Uh, I'm so sad. That actually kind of hurts now when I think of it. I can't afford to have Rio figure out this the true nature too early. If we aren't careful, Rio will grow up corrupt by the sh by his sheer power, just like Father did. This is stupid, girl. I won't play the fool for you. Come on, Finra. If you want a father's bloodline to continue, this is my one condition. You guys will play along. This is our last chance to make a difference. This will be our redemption. Is the, that is so hilarious! So you tricked Ryo into thinking that Omnicore's air is inside of that fake egg, hmm? I'm gonna call it something super dumb, like Tyrant of Light or whatever. <laughs> you will help, Eliza? Elizabeth? Rio will seek your guidance, and I need you to misguide him. That's so messed up. I love to see how this develops. I'll have Rio go visit the elemental, each elemental shrine. Then your siblings will teach him how to control his pow own powers. Fine. Let the act begin. Omnicore's legacy. You understand now, Rio. Amelia did nothing wrong. Her dragons are indeed perfect. The dragon outbreak from 15 years ago was not an accident. It was caused by your own birth. The dragons went insane. They were afraid. They acknowledged you as a strong, as the strongest of all tyrants. The true heir to Omnicore. When a dragon attacked you in the woods, we realized that your power were starting to surface. You were sent on a lame <laughs> journey to learn how to control those powers. Under all the pretext of hatching a fake tyrant egg, sooner or later, you'll be strong enough to become the new king of the Nixamon. Yes. Upon your ascension, the tyrants will naturally stop fighting. Peace will be restored. But alas, Bedros was quite unexpected. That a bomb, uh, aberrational is programmed to hunt tyrants until the end of days, including you, my dear. Anti ninety. <laughs> oh dear God! If you were slain by Vedros, then Omnicore's bloodline will truly end. There is no telling what ha would happen to the nat natural balance of the world. Um, can I get ground mineral, please? Unlocked. I don't know what I'll mostly do, but I would love to have it right now. What the heck's going on? I dress power from this far away. That creature just keeps getting stronger. Citizens of Purma, this is Vedras, the ultimate tyrant. Fear not, my comrades, for Vedras is the child of mankind, forged by science and nothing else. Under control, he will slay every single accursed tyrant that dares stand in our way. His power is endless, and so is our future. 
he will we will cower in fear no more please stand with me and Ventros together humans will retake the world Excuse me, Young Tamer. Haven't you heard? It's an emergency. All Tamers in the city must meet at the barricades right now. Ugh, there's no time to explain, right? Alright? Come with me. The observatory is really close. I didn't get my Earth element. Oh. So, wait. There's one more element I'm missing, then. What, what did you say? Exactly as I told you. A tyrant has been spotted to the east. The guild will test the extent of Ventral's power against the, that tyrant. You can sit back and relax. You dare mock us? Are you un, unable to hunt a tyrant ourselves? This is Litteran. We have Blain dozens of tyrants, and the guild appreciates your service. But now, you are absolved. I think that's how I say it. I probably have it wrong, but whatever. As a token of our gratitude, they come with a warning. Stand back. We don't know how devastating Vedros can be. Listen up, guild slave. We do not care about how powerful your aberrant Nixamon thing is. This is our turf. We do as we please. If a tyrant is nearby, we will take it down. Like we always do. Your fancy guild and Vedros can get lost. Of course. Do as you please, General. But please, be careful. Shut up, Edward. Get out of my city. I see two items I can grab here. Hey, Ryu. Who are you going to help out Lady and Hunter with that tyrant? I heard that there's a good bounty. Oh, come on. Didn't you listen to Edward? All we have to do is relax and let Vedros do his thing. Ugh, whatever. I'm out. Don't count one on me. I never do. You know, he's right. That dress may look scary, but as far... He doesn't... He hasn't gone berserk or anything. Oh well. Can't hurt to take a look. I also want to see how Vedros fights. That tyrant. They said that the tyrant was spotted Far east of the city. Well, I'm going back in to steal some items. Like the donut that was in the trash can. Ooh, and a cosmic charm. Lovely. Uh, da -da 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 -da. To the east. To the east. Ever oh, east. I'm going west, aren't I? Now I'm probably going the correct way. Hello! Oh. Did I talk to you? Ocean Shark. Hmm. I get three in return. Yeah, I would say that's worth it because I get a whistle. To the east. Ah, 
Actually, come to think of it, I'll end this part off here. So without further ado, Darkrita32, signing off.